What is up, YouTube? Boxing Now on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays. Happy New Year to you and yours. Wishing you all the best in 2021. 2020 has been a rough year. Uh, that being said, please check out the right corner of your screen, the annotation, the little wheel up there. I have two highlight videos out that were just released. Uh, they were made by two different editors. Let me know what you guys think. Check them out in the top upper right hand. But well, let's get into the issue at hand in regards to Sergey Kovalev. So in order to watch the Canelo Alvarez versus Callum Smith fight last Saturday, you needed a subscription from DAZN. The subscription is a $19.99 a month uh, subscription, or you can pay $99 for the year. Uh, DAZN was also offering this fight for $69.99 on pay-per-view if you did not want to go with one of those options. Um, so... Obviously, this is a big deal for DAZN. They had a falling out with Canelo Alvarez not too long ago in a money dispute. So they are hurting financially like a lot of companies and businesses are, uh, just struggling financially. Uh, on Instagram on Saturday, for whatever reason, Sergey Kovalev continued his self-destructive behavior. Um, he hosted a live stream in which the entire main event was streamed on his Instagram Live, which is obviously illegal, and DAZN is considering taking legal action. Legal action against one of their own. Kovalev uh, recently fought on a DAZN card against Canelo Alvarez, where he was brutally knocked out. He has had some legal issues these last few months, one in which he was kicked off of a plane a couple months ago for allegedly... Uh, unwantingly kissing a female on the plane. Uh, he was not arrested for that incident, uh, but that's just the latest in the run of uh, negative Sergey Kovalev uh, headlines. So, executives at the zone were alarmed and extremely frustrated by Kovalev's behavior. Uh, they were very much confused because he's scheduled to fight on the zone format on January 30th in his native Russia. Um, so Kovalev and his manager have not responded to a request uh, to talk about this issue. But this illegal streaming of events is a big deal for DAZN because obviously Canelo is a big name for them. And they're estimating that the losses from Kovalev's actions may have cost them anywhere between $50,000 and $250,000. So Kovalev had 2,500 viewers on his live stream at one point. If you do the math, if all of them were to buy a monthly subscription, that was $50,000. If they all bought a uh, annual subscription, that's $250,000. $250,000 is a lot of money. So obviously that is an issue for uh, DAZN. So they are considering legal action at this point. This could be the end of Sergey Kovalev. I mean, he is on the verge of a... Uh, retirement from boxing at 37 years old there isn't much demand for him at this point fatigue has been an issue for him as he gets older and he's 37 years old so I don't know who's going to want to work with Kovalev at this point if things fall through with the zone and this is all by his own uh, self-destructive behavior so it's a legal issue after legal issue um, he was uh, charged with assaulting a woman and her dog back in 2018. He pled guilty to that. Uh, he was sentenced to two days in jail for that, which I forgot to mention. Uh, but this is is probably the end of Sergey Kovalev.